Today we are going to be talking about the do's and don'ts of Instagram in 2022 if you wanna see your business and your Instagram grow. and welcome back to Sparkle and Grow. Jamie here. I am pumped to be doing another video training with you guys today about Instagram. Things have changed so much over the years and so I thought that it was time to do a little update video on some of the things you just don't do anymore that people used to really think were legit ways to grow on Instagram as well as some really exciting new features that Instagram is rolling out this year, some of which are already here that you might not even know about. So keep watching, I have so much information for you. So right away, let's just get it out of the way and talk about some of the really icky, icky Instagram tactics that people have used for years. Follow, unfollow is one of the big ones that lots of people are still using. If you're wondering why your following goes up and down all the time, it is because of these people that may follow you and you might follow them back thinking it's a polite thing to do, but later you find out they just unfollow you. First and foremost, it's kind of icky and unclassy to even get somebody's hopes up that you might be following them because they too might just be trying to grow their Instagram and you're getting their hopes up and then kind of crushing the idea that you may have followed them. If you're not gonna be a legit audience member for somebody, you should not follow them. We are all guilty of doing this. I've done this before in the past, but it was the long past and I have since stopped because it actually can damage your engagement because you want people to be excited to push that follow button because if somebody's not genuinely interested in your comment and they're not interacting with you, then they're not a good person to have follow you anyways. It's actually hurting your engagement to have too many followers. I actually have been starting to go through my followers and delete people that seem irrelevant, not real, um, just kind of like an old account of somebody's that they've never even opened for years. Followers that aren't engaged with you are hurting your algorithm and they're making your content actually show up less. Let's just get one more tacky one out of the way so we don't even have to talk about these things anymore. Like, I don't even wanna hear the word follow unfollow or the word engagement group, yuck. Get out of those engagement groups. They are also hurting your algorithm. Don't do it. Not to mention it is wasting your own time. You're spending all this time trying to engage with all the people that are posting in this group in order to do them a favor so they maybe engage back when you could just go spend that same amount of time interacting with your target audience so that you get legitimate people that interact with you in a real way so that you get real engagement and real followers. It also feeds the algorithm false data about your interests. So you might be engaging with somebody that is not even anywhere near your niche. Even if they are in your niche, they might have other interests that now Instagram is thinking you are connected to that might not be your target audience. And also the really icky sticky part of them, as soon as you leave an engagement group because you've decided it's wasting your time and adding unneeded pressure to your day and your business, the engagement on your Instagram page is gonna go way down. And now Instagram suddenly thinks that your content is in irrelevant and people are no longer interested and you're already trying to grow, so this is gonna now make it even harder to grow because your content is gonna have to blow people's minds. Another thing you kinda don't want to do anymore is forced daily constant posting. You want to be consistent, absolutely. You want to be consistent. Consistency is important because you need to show up for your business, for people to trust you and wanna keep coming back for more because if there's not more for them to come back to, they're not gonna keep coming back. But on the other hand, you don't want to force daily content if you don't have quality content that you've put time into. So it's really important, I always say, content is 
queen. Like you have to have to put the majority of your time in your content to see your business succeed and grow. If you're not putting the majority of that time, if you're an influencer or selling online, I should say, um, there's different types of business. I'm talking to online influencers, um, network marketers, um, online marketers, people with online shops that people are promoting on social media, those type of niches, okay? So make sure you're just choosing quality over quantity. Um, don't be spending all your time spamming people and messaging people and doing all those sort of things. That's not what's gonna grow your business. Creating valuable content, facing the fear and just getting out there, putting yourself out there, that is what it takes. If you decided to be an influencer, if you decided to be a network marketer, if you decided to do an online business that is driven by social media, you need to get your face on here because the whole point of social media is to be social and if it's not you, giving value and giving content that people want to watch, you're not being social at all. You're just being spammy. Okay, a couple more quick don'ts real quick before I get into some really exciting new features that Instagram is rolling out. One thing is you do not need to put hashtags in stories anymore. Stories are kind of irrelevant. If you go into the search now, you don't see stories anymore. You see posts and you see reels, a lot of reels. They are very heavy on reels these days. So don't waste a lot of time finding hashtags for your stories because they're not doing you any good and stories don't show up really in the search anymore. Also, Instagram now suggests that you only have like three to five main hashtags in your posts. You can still post up to 30, but they are really trying to categorize people in certain areas in order to show up to your target audience. You want to get in the algorithm and use hashtags correctly because if you can label your content correctly, it's gonna get in front of the correct audience. And if you limit your hashtags down to about five maybe, you'll actually start seeing more results than you used to and you don't need to be coming up with 30 hashtags every time. So save your time, save your energy, give it three to five main hashtags that are actually relevant and make sense to your content so that it can be rolled out to the correct audience and now you're talking to your target audience. Even if it's less, it's worth it. Quality over quantity, you don't need thousands of people to follow you in order to get sales or to promote your products. You need quality people that genuinely interact with you in a real social way. Speaking of stories, stop doing the clickbait trend of taking your post and putting it in your story and then covering it up with a sticker to get people to go to your post. People tap through stickers so fast and they don't want to take extra steps anymore. People want transparency these days. They're tired of the games. They're tired of the teasers. People are figuring out all the schemes and the tactics. It's not classy, it's gross. Let's just move on from all of that stuff. You don't need to do teasers in your stories at all. And actually there are in some ways it can be hurting you because if your post is a reel and you decide to share your reels to your stories and then you put a teaser sticker over the top, what's gonna happen is as people are tapping through, they're gonna tap right by your reel. And if they can see your reel and they end up watching it in your stories, that actually counts as a view on your reel so if people aren't watching the whole reel in your story then now you're not going to get that view so you're actually hurting yourself because people are going to skip right past your reel instead of sitting there watching it in your stories like you intended them to do Ooh, something else that you can do away with and i actually just found this out so i've been doing it and i'm gonna stop doing it i'm trying to stop doing it it's like a habit now um, but you don't need to put periods to create spaces in your posts anymore. Instagram has finally like hopped on board and realized that people want to space out their content so it's easier to read. And so now they let you actually add a space and you can hit the return button and the text really does show up on the next line as where before you always had to do little tricks like put in the periods or like use some special thing to, I don't know, but you don't have to do the periods anymore in order to create gaps and space between your text of and writing and things like that. So that's exciting for me. I'm still like trying to stop using the period, but you don't have to anymore. So yay. 
Another one you should stop doing is tagging a bunch of people in your posts in order to hope that it ends up on their page somehow. Like I, you can tag somebody and you know how we have like, there's like the photos and the reels and the videos and then the tags. Well, people have posted things in the past and then they tag a bunch of big name influencers and different accounts in hopes that maybe they will approve it and it'll show up in their tags. Well, now people have to approve it. It doesn't just show up in people's tag page anymore. And it's still, it's kind of spammy and it doesn't make any sense. Sure, if you're like promoting a product and you want, and you tag them, then it makes sense because yes, that person might go ahead and put that post in their tag feed. And so there are places, time and place to use it, but you shouldn't just be like mindlessly tagging a bunch of people because they're from big accounts and you might get seen. It's not gonna work because they're not gonna approve it if it doesn't make sense. Like if somebody tagged me in their smoothie video, I would never approve that because what does that have to do with me? I share makeup tips. I do do some health stuff, but I'm not, promoting lots of crazy things for other people. That's not the point. So most likely you're wasting your time by even putting all those names because if it doesn't make sense and they're not going to look at it and approve it as content they would want on their page, they're not gonna do it. So just stop that one. Ooh, but I do wanna get into the new features because I wanna tell you about a new collab feature that I think is actually really cool that Instagram is doing now. Now you can post a photo and say it's a photo of me and one of my friends or somebody I work with, you know, I can now tag that person. Let me erase that, not tag, it's not a tag, but you can still tag them, but you can add somebody as a collaborator as the picture. So before you would tag them and it shows up in their tag page when they approve it, well, you can still do that, but you can also choose to add them as a collaborator. So this is gonna actually allow the photo to show up in both of your feeds, which is so nice for Instagram because before like you all had to post it and include each other, um, use each other in tags, and there wasn't really a way for you to have one post show up in multiple people's feeds like you might be able to do on Facebook. So it's really nice. They have rolled out the collab feature so you can post a dual selfie with you and your bestie and it can show up in both your feeds as the exact same post by simply adding them as a collaborator and then that person still has to approve. So don't use this to spam people. Um, but as long as they approve, it will show up in both of your feeds. All right, old school Instagram users get excited. Drum roll, please. Chronological order is kind of coming back. It's not quite the same. Like our feeds are still gonna look like they do now, but there is now going to be options to see your feed in different ways. So now people maybe can see it in chronological order, um, which might make some of your content show up more to different people. And so there's gonna be basically three different ways to see your feed, and here's what they are. There's gonna be the home feed, which is basically exactly what you see now. It's gonna use the algorithm to show you the most relevant stuff, stuff that they think you might wanna see, um, people that they think you interact with the most, things like that. So there's gonna be your home feed. It's gonna be exactly the same. The first new one is the following feed. So the following feed is the chronological order one. So it has to be people you are following though. So if people are following you, your content will now show up in chronological order to the other people that they are specifically following. So that is exciting news. You can now look at just the people you are following in your feed if you choose that. Another exciting way to see your feed, there's gonna be a third option now that is called the favorites feed. And so you can actually choose what shows up in your favorites feed. So this is totally exclusive where you can add your favorites, you pick what you see in this feed. So I think that's really cool and it's gonna be a cool way for Instagram to see what you are also super interested in as well. And it's also a way that you can kinda organize who, what, where, how, 
I'm curious to know if it's just going to be like one favorite or if you can like categorize different stuff. I would love to see them make it so that you could categorize different favorites, but I don't know if that's going to happen. We'll have to like cross our fingers for that, but I kind of feel like it's just going to be one favorites feed that you can add people to. So still very cool though. It gives you an opportunity to make sure that you are seeing content from your favorite creators without it getting lost in your followings or get lost in your regular home feed. So there are going to be those three different ways. I think that's really exciting. Cool new feature. I, that is not out yet, but it will be launching in 2022. So definitely watch out for that coming soon. Couple other things you may have noticed that IGTV is totally gone. It was kind of something that they were pushing for and trying kind of like Facebook, but YouTube-ish, you know, um, but it never really kind of caught on with people. So now everything is in the video feature. Before you could only put like a one minute video and everything else had to go in IGTV. Now it's all the same. So you can put your long videos in your videos now. It doesn't matter. It's all just a video. And the last couple cool features are Reels features. You guys know Reels is huge now. If you're not doing Reels, I don't know what planet you've been living on, but Reels is super important to Instagram. It's what they boost the most. It's what they promote the most. So if you're doing Reels, they're gonna boost you and you know, they're gonna show your content more. In fact, I almost wish when I go through my home feed, I saw less Reels because I feel like sometimes I see less valuable content now because it's all just ridiculous. I mean, it's funny, it's fun to watch, but I don't know. I wish that it would actually stop promoting them a little bit, but they're here. We're doing them. I'm doing them. We're all doing them. Reels is where it's at. So let's just like focus on adding more value to our reels. How about that one? <laughs> That's what I'm trying. All right. So the first one that they added, and this one's actually been here for a little bit, but some of you maybe haven't utilized it or tried it. And it's kind of a good way to get your foot in the door with reels, maybe sometimes too, but reels remixes. It's kind of like Instagram's version of TikTok duets. They're trying to make it so that you can take a reel and you can talk along, you can show your reactions, and it's like two screens side by side, so it's the reel that you're commenting on, and then a video of you responding and reacting to somebody else's reel. So that's called Reels Remixes. It's a great way to create engagement, create conversation, um, just having some fun if it's like a dance thing. So there's lots of opp different opportunities for using Reels Remixes. That is a newer feature on Instagram, so definitely check it out and take advantage of the engagement and conversation opportunities with that. And then this one is really cool. I actually just went and tried this because I saw that it was a thing. I didn't even know it was a thing. This one was new to me too. So I was super pumped about it. But you can now do video reels comments on your own reel comments. That makes sense. <laughs> okay, so I posted a reels. This is how I did it on mine. So I it was on my Valentine's makeup post. Some, but one of my friends had sent me a couple of hearts. And so on that hearts comment, I hit reply and there became an option that I can reply with a video reels. How cool is that? So I can now reply to the comment. I tested it out. You can go check out my test at sparkle and grow on my Instagram. Um, and I basically was able to say, oh my gosh, Hey Katie, thank you for your heart comments. Um, I appreciate this. I'm trying out this new feature. Check it out. What do you guys think of this cool new feature where I can video reply to somebody's comments in my reels? You can't do it on other people's reels, but when somebody comments on your reel, you can do a video reply with a reel. So. It's just adding more dynamic to the conversation. If somebody asks a question, you yourself can answer it and it creates great engagement, conversation, and it puts your face once again on the camera so that you can have legit social interactions. And that is the point of social media. Let's do this. Let's make legit content. Content is queen, you guys. Add value to people's lives. It's all about the content. It's not about spamming. It's not about messaging people. It's about literally putting information out there that's valuable to your target audience. So who are those people? What do they need to hear? 
um, and go connect with those people. Utilize Instagram as a conversation piece, as something where you can give back and add value to the world. That is why it is important. All right, I hope this was helpful. Leave me any comments with any questions that you guys may have. Give me a heart or a thumbs up if this was helpful, depending on if you're watching this on Instagram or YouTube. I will be putting this on both places. Also, don't forget to follow and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you guys so much. I love you lots and I'll talk to you soon. Ta-ta!